What's up, family? Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute, but we're back because we are in the mood for goat, curry goat. I got my op, my brother with me. <laughs> and um, we're just going to try it for the first time. Well, it's my first time trying goat, curry goat. But my brother had it before. And we are going to cook it um, in a, what's this? Slow pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Because I don't feel like <laughs> putting it in an uh, oven. I don't feel like putting it in a, a crock pot. So we're just going to do the pressure cooker. So this is all new to me. So what we're starting off with, this is cube goat. We're going to get this washed and clean. We got some... Uh, this golden curry Japanese mix. It's like a, what do you want to call it? It's like a, it's like a paste. It's, it's like a, a paste a, curry. It's a curry paste that makes your soups uh, thick. So we got that. We're gonna add this spicy curry Jamaican mix. We're gonna add some jerk spice Jamaican mix, just a little bit. We got our onions, we got our garlic, we have our limes. This is what I'm gonna clean the goat with. Then we have a little bit of this uh, better than bouillon beef mix. We have a can of coconut milk. We have some thyme and we have some curry powder. Now we will be adding garlic and onion powder and some other spices, but uh, for right now, we're just working with this. Oh, and we have some cabbage. So it'll be curry goat, cabbage, and rice. So I'm about to get this goat clean. I'm about to get these uh, veggies chopped up, and then I'll meet you right back here in a second. All right, family, we're back. We got our goat clean. We got our onions and garlic chopped and put in here in this pressure cooker. So come close, come look at this. Does it look good to me already? Even though I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but I do. <laughs> so we got our onions, garlic, you know, uh, coconut milk. We have this right here, this Walker's Wood traditional Jamaican jerk seasoning. It's really spicy and hot, but it's good. It's really good. So we're gonna get this started and we'll be right back. Kind of like the curry soup, but it's a tad bit different. Yeah, goat. I've never had goat, so we're about to see how this turns out. But it smells delicious. Um, I'm gonna get this cabbage on, get the rice on, and we'll be back. All right, family, welcome back. Look at this curry goat. It's so tender. Look at the gravy consistency. It's so good. Like, hey, this instant pot is the truth, okay? This is my first time trying curry goat and it is the bomb. It's not gamey. Like, it's just really, really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna serve this over some rice. We're gonna put our cabbage on the side and we'll see you in a sec. Call this. What is it called? Denise! Zupa Toscana. Zupa Toscana. They make it, they make it at, they make it at Olive Garden. We found a recipe. You know, we always get these <laughs> restaurants, find a recipe, and do our own thing. Yeah, I'd rather do my own thing. And that's what it is. Zupa Toscana. Yeah. This curry goat though. Look at how tender this goat is. Mm. 
Yeah.